ISIS tried to kill me many times, put bombs under my cars, tried to blackmail me, all sorts. Why? Because I was like, I was telling people that these people are not, you know, uh, an Islamic state as they're trying to say they are. They started doing crazy stuff, cutting people's heads off and, and doing all this kind of stuff, killing Western journalists. Yeah. Um, they actually kidnapped somebody from one of our aid convoys. And I was one of like the arbitrators. I went to them and said, look, what are you guys doing? This is crazy. Because I am, my parents are Pakistani. Even though I'm born in the UK, I can be stripped of my citizenship. Prophet peace be upon him said that the most beloved people to God are those who are beneficial to others. So try and help other people as much as you can. Be a good person and inshallah you will have a good end. Hey bro, I want to say thank you man. Seriously, you know, I reached out. Obviously, I've got a very small channel and everything and you're giving me your time and whatnot. I uh, really exactly. appreciate it, man. Bro, we should any, never ever... We any should criticism? Never, ever, no, yeah, no, no, my advice to you is that, first of all, you should never ever, uh, you know, in a sense, you know, your goal shouldn't be about the numbers, you know? It, yeah, yeah, for sure, uh, yeah. You know... I just thought that I'd most... put someone like yourself off, do you know what I mean? It's a bit... I'm not, I'm not too bothered, to be honest, about numbers and this and that, but it's more... Uh, I, I like to get... Go, you know, if you see, I don't know if you looked at any of the other videos. They were with the, there was two, I think, with the whole with the homeless brother. There was yeah, one yeah, with so, a, yeah, a couple of things. You know what I mean? And they don't, they don't. Inshallah, they will grow in views, but it's not the views himself. I want the content to be useful, and to do something. Do you know what I mean? Look, look. One of the sheikhs that, uh, one of my favorite sheikhs, he used to always say, uh, "Aspire to inspire before you expire." Yeah. So. It's one of those things that if your intentions, if your niyyah is sincere and you're doing this solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then it doesn't matter, bro. You know, Nuh alayhi salam was uh, giving da'wah for, I think it was 200 years and he had no one, no one is going to come to go into Jannah with him, very few people, you know. Yeah. So the, we're not going to be judged on, on the results, bro. So inshallah, sure. if you're doing your best and you're taking your you know, asbab, and you're trying your best solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and only 10 people watch it, only 15 people watch it, only 20 people, 100 people watch it. You know what? Alhamdulillah. You know, for me, the fact that you're here and you want to listen, inshallah, if someone can hear this and they want to support Syria or someone hears this and they're inspired to help other people or, you know, look into Islam, even if it's only one person, then alhamdulillah, you know what? It might be that one person. It makes a change, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, no, it might be that one person that gets us to Jannah, bro. Allah might oh, accept that sure. one. Thing. All yeah. of the other things that we've done, all these big distributions and having a big profit, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala may not accept any of it. But it might be something simple, some small deed that we overlooked that is so pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So always remember that, bro. I mean, social media can become a fitna for people. It can mm. be something where, you know, um, it becomes, you know, people's lives, the views, the numbers. And again, look, it comes down to happiness. If that's something that we're going to look for, our happiness is going to be in how many likes and followers that we have, then, you know, we'll, 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 we'll never be happy, bro. You know, do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, totally, so, man. So I try, my, I, yeah, I really do try and stay. I like to have a bit of fun on my channel, you know, it's haram, inshallah, about having a bit of fun. But at the same time, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to just push out crap, do you know what I mean? Without bringing some sort of benefit at times as well. Do you get me? So videos like this, I just hope, as you say, you know, it reaches viewers and I hope it, I just hope it brings some benefit, man, really. Inshallah, when you become like big time, don't forget me, innit? No, I don't know <laughs> about you, that, bro. When it becomes a big time podcast, yeah, don't forget about, don't forget about me, yeah? <laughs> yeah, come on, bro. Don't forget us in your du'as. You guys are in the blessed lands, man. I'm sure there's, uh, I'm sure your du'as get, get there, possibly, you know, priority status or something like that. <laughs> No, nah, I don't know. I don't know about that, bro. I don't know about yeah. that, man. We just, have, just normal people, bro. Do you have any criticism, bro? Because I don't. I'll, I'll be honest. I think I went a bit all over the place, man. I was a bit, a bit nervous doing it and whatnot. How How old are you, by the way? You're 22, yeah. 20, just turned 23. My single or married? Single, bro. Single man. <laughs> single Pringle and living the single life, bro. Stuff like that. <laughs> where, where, where are you from? What? Uh, what are you? Who's laughing? Someone laughing at that. It's my cousin. <laughs> Let your cousin say to come now. Yeah, 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 come, come, come then, let's call him. Let me just turn my uh, earphones off. 
Or you know what, just put one in because it's better that he doesn't think it. He's not married either. We need to get him on it as well, man. Slow on looking, bro. Like right, Sam was going to sit down, bro. Sit down and get in the camera, man. We're doing the Rishta and that, bro. See if you want. <laughs> yeah, man. Uh, what were we saying, man? We were just... Uh, I don't know what we were I was saying. waiting for you to yeah. rip me apart, bro, for the... No, man, I mean, like, look, look, like I said, bro, Allah SWT, he likes deeds that are consistent. Mm. So I think that my most important advice to you is that just be consistent, bro. You know, you're going to have... It's going to be one of those things that if you're new, yeah, you're going to have teething problems, but the more you do it, inshallah, the better... Uh, that you're gonna get so consistency is key uh, don't let don't get disheartened bro if you know you can't get the right guests or people don't want to do your it's show very and, hard it's very hard and, honestly i was surprised you accepted it to be honest because it's very i just blank sort of message people and uh, you know make the one and see what happens kind of thing <laughs> do you know what i mean so i really do appreciate it man alhamdulillah just yeah you know what it's like i said my my goal look i've i've been there bro i've been there in a sense where like I said, there was a time where we were in the beginning very, very popular in the beginning of this war. Everyone was like, rah, these guys are in Syria and look what they're doing. And everybody, all the sheikhs and all the people wanted to talk to us. And you know what I mean? And that was like very early 2013, 2014. We were on like a quarter million of views on our Facebook page and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. So things went very fast. And then obviously when ISIS came up and then obviously I got stripped of my citizenship, then that was like, people were like, that's it. Guys, yeah. We don't want to talk to this guy. But again, consistency, bro. Alhamdulillah, we kept at it. We had hard times, bro. We lost a lot of funding from charities, but we kept going, man. We kept going. We persevered. And Alhamdulillah, today we're in a situation again where Alhamdulillah, the Muslim community again is come to a point where, you know, they are again recognizing us, Alhamdulillah. And, you know, most Mashiach and most people now want to talk to us and humble like I'm in a situation mm -hmm. where I'm surprised to be honest a lot of people I message them and they're like yeah we'd love to do the, the live because I've got lives coming up in Ramadan inshallah on Instagram oh, yeah, and stuff seen, yeah, yeah, inshallah, yeah. so alhamdulillah I was just talking to Umar Isa a little while earlier yeah he's I saw your very, post man yeah yeah yeah, yeah he's, a, he's a very good good friend of mine alhamdulillah so I think he's I think East it's London one of those as well people. isn't it he's East London born as well isn't it I'm not sure I never I never knew him before Syria bro I never okay. knew him before Syria I think he's I think he is yeah yeah think so so alhamdulillah bro like i said man consistency bro keep consistent purify your intentions bro and just keep going man inshallah look it's going to be difficult in the beginning but you always got to remember when it comes to mindset you have to be willing to fail yeah if yeah, you, yeah. you're not willing to fail then you're not going to succeed mm -hmm. so you just got to keep going keep trying keep trying keep talking to people you know say i've got this going on and inshallah yani, you get them, and whatever your goal is, inshallah, yeah, yeah. you're persistent enough, and you know you're willing to adapt, you're willing to learn, then then you get them, man. So that's 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 my advice, man. I, like I don't want to say, ah, oh, you done this wrong or you done that wrong, you know. No, I mean, no, I, I mean, no, I appreciate it, man. I, I hey, you you know, you're 34. I would bro, say the wisdom. I would, uh... say look, I would say look into your tech guy. Look into a software called Ecam. I did a podcast yesterday, actually. Okay. Uh, with a brother, he's another brother. His podcast is quite new. It's called Tayo Camel Podcast. Okay. So I done a podcast with him yesterday from Manchester. Um, from Manchester. And he was. What, what was his name again, bro? Go on. Uh, I'm, I can't remember his name, bro. But his. What, the, the what did you say? Yeah. Tayo Camel Podcast. Oh, Tayo Camel. Tayo yeah. Camel. So uh, let me. It's, it's, I, I don't think he's. he's I, I was like number six for him. So he's newer as well. Um. Mine's quite uh, a mix, to be honest, bro. It's not really a podcast channel as such. Uh, yeah, I saw you do like reality stuff. To be honest, I just but, do whatever I want. Do you know what I mean? It's a bit of entertainment and uh, information as well. So, I, you know, I like to have a bit of fun, but at the same time, I don't want it to just be BS, you know, the whole thing. I like to bring some is, benefit. Do you know what I mean? brother's name is Habib, Habib Rahman. 2,516 followers. I found it, bro. So I guess, this one, isn't it? found it, bro. That's the one, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I'll check it out, definitely, man. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. So, Alhamdulillah, man, like I said, uh, I mean, he was using a software called Ecamm, and uh, Ecamm. it looked really nice. Ecamm. Yeah. So, so when he was uh, when he was talking to me, like, it had basically, in the corners, it had he had, like, set up a, uh, what do you call it in English? Like a banner uh, or something. Yeah, lower thirds and a banner and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. his logo yeah, yeah. already... Like, like a layover. Oh, okay. 
layers, yeah. yeah. A lot of customization tools and stuff. A lot of customization. So, so that will make your uh, uh, podcast look a lot nicer. I'm, I'm assuming you're going to put that in later, Allah Alim. Yeah, that's the yeah. plan. I was saying to you, man, I don't like these flipping grey bars. I've never done it uh, via Zoom or anything. Everything's always been in person. I've only done about five, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, uh, I mean, this is yeah, it's quite new to me. Uh, but, I mean, it's quite simple, but as you say, it'd be nice and to say And I did go off like after that. half an hour. He did go off after 45 minutes, so that was didn't. Right. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, that's what I was thinking well, as well. Well, the meeting said half an hour, didn't it? I'm very conscious now. It says recorded. I hope it's recorded, the audio and everything. That's really <laughs> stressing me out. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. But, yeah, man. What's the plan for you anyway? Uh, it's two hours ahead, isn't it? I think for you guys. Yeah, I'm working all night, bro. Right now, I'm doing 18 hour shifts. I've got a team in the UK, I've got a team in Turkey, I've got a team on the ground. My media team's in the office right now. Um, what so, is the word? Yeah. Basically, we're talking to fundraisers, setting up fundraising pages. We've got feedback that we need to get to people. We've got videos that we're making for Ramadan. I've got like uh, most of the, like I'm doing mad shifts at the moment because because I'm like a project manager on the ground. And yeah. then I'm also running all of these institutions outside. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's tough. I mean, a lot of people, they just see the the external side. They see oh, talks cool. and you know, this aid worker. But I mean, our organization... You know, I've got 150 staff, bro. I've got 150 staff, 12 departments. Yeah. It's a really so, besides company, really. Yeah. yeah, so it's a it's a big organization. Alhamdulillah, that's the barakah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. So yeah, man, that's what I'm doing tonight. Tonight, I'm, uh, the the wives are not going to be happy, but it is what it is. The isn't? wives, do you hear that? Yeah. That's what I wanted to ask. You know, when you ask if I'm married, I want you to know how many you've got, man. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's a different that's a different topic, bro. You should ask. You should ask in the podcast, bro. I, I was too hot for your podcast, bro. I was too hot for your mean. podcast. This is what it is. You know, I can I've reached a point in my life where so I can I look again. This is this is what this again when you're talking about life, everything's relative, isn't it? So I live mm -hmm. in a war zone. Okay, I don't have a passport, but alhamdulillah, I can say a lot more than other people. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. You've almost got a lot so, more freedom, isn't it? In some ways, in some ways, yeah, but in, some in other ways. ways, in other ways, you're restricted. But what's important to understand, you know, brothers, is that the Prophet said in the hadith, a dunya sijin al mu'min wa Yeah. I, and I, I really, really understood this, you know, when I went to prison. Mm. The first time I went, I, I was in prison in Israel, but I was only in prison for like three or four days. Um, I mean, my activism goes back to, you know, Guantanamo. One of my teachers is Mu'azzam Beg. He was, he's a Filipino. I met him, bro. In my life. I met him on, uh, do you know, Coventry yeah. Road in Birmingham. Mashallah. Bro, I was just walking and yeah, I just Muazzam saw him and I was like, wow. I went back to him like, bro, I'm sure I've seen you uh, on the internet, man. Yeah, Mashallah. Mashallah, I mean, Guantanamo, in it? Three years, bro. So it's not, it's not a small crazy. thing. And His story is crazy. Allah's man. blessed me to spend a lot of time with him. You know, Allah blessed me to spend a lot of time with him and he taught me a lot of things. Bro, I think, um, you know, you know, they say role, mo role models, we lack role models. I think, I'm sure you're not perfect. I'm sure there's many things and whatever, you know, personal sins in private and whatever. But I think really you are, you know, you should be make do for as, me, bro. as a role model, man. Make dua for me, bro. Just make dua for me. Man, that I mean, yeah. Allah gives me khusn al khitam, you know, the best ending. Because yeah, to be honest, I mean, in the long run, none of this matters, you know. If Allah's not pleased with us in the end, then everything we've done now, you know, could be to no avail, you know? Yeah. So we make dua, man. Allah, you know, brings us together with good people, good Muslims all over the world. And, you know, inshallah, we're reunited in Jannah, man. Inshallah. Um, I'm always optimistic. I'm always optimistic, bro. And yeah. no, um, but that shines through, man, with the work you do, you know what I mean? These things make you in it, bro. These things make you. Yeah, I mean, like I said, sure. I'll, I'll, I was on the Mavi Mamra and uh, the Israeli commandos came on and were killing people and, you know, dogs came on and all sorts. And yeah, that was a mad one. We ended up getting arrested and getting taken to, you know, Beersheba prison in Israel. And we didn't know if the whole world knows we're there or not. So that was different. That was different in a way. Um, yes, I've been through a few different ones. I got kidnapped in Greece once. We were on an aid convoy um, going to, to, uh, uh, Gaza and I ended up getting kidnapped from Libya and ended up getting taken to Greece which was a mad one as well that was like a few years back so I've, 
I've had a few of these adventures, you know. It's the story of my life, bro. It's the story of my life. Anyone that knows me will tell you that, you know, trouble just finds me, bro. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. That's what it is. All right, bro. We won't take up more, any more of your time, man. I really appreciate it. If you do, exactly. if you do want to do like a, a part two or an update at some point, Hopefully, I, I, what I don't want to do is sort of say the same thing again and again. I don't, I don't think it's very productive. But, you know, if we can get, I'm sure there's loads of stuff, you know. There's obviously so much going on in Syria at the moment, maybe in a year's time or so. It'll be, if you're down for that, it'll be pretty good, man. Inshallah, man. Uh, stay in touch, bro. And if you know anyone that wants a fundraise, um, then let us know. You should do a fundraiser, bro. You should do a fundraiser for us. I should stick it on you and, you and yeah. your cousin. Oh, yeah, what, no. what I mean, what is it? You you just I don't entirely understand it. You're asking for donations, is it? Oh no, because look, you know what it is, yeah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, uh Mathalu Ladina Yunfikuna Amwala Hum fi Sabila, Kemethali Habbatin, Ambatat Sabah, Sanabila fi kulu sumba sumbulatin me atu habba. Okay. Allah says that the person who gives charity, the example of the person who gives charity is like the a grain of corn that has seven ears and each ear has 100 grains this is how allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiplies and increases the reward for just the one who gives charity so imagine now the person who goes and he encourages other people to do charity yeah. so now for example when we give you a fundraising page what we do is we just take your name email address uh, what you want to call a page and you set a target so you say look i want to do 1,000 or I want to do 2,000 pounds and it's like a GoFundMe basically, page it's like a GoFundMe page we use launch good it was say for example oh, okay. yeah, it yeah. would say for example Omar for Syria people go to that link and then there's all the things if they want to donate to Iftar if they want to donate to you know building a home whatever it is all you got to do is send that link out on your social you say look I'm yeah, yeah. raising for Syria send yeah. the link out send it to your friends and family and inshallah mm. bro if people donate you get uh, you get all of the ajr for you know what they donate and then inshallah where we spend it what we do with our fundraisers is you become part of the live updates family so for example inshallah you get some nice merch and you're going to get feedback you get feedback from syria so what we normally do is if people raise over 2k then then they get really good feedback like they'll get an orphan that will be sponsored in their name and that kind of stuff so yeah but I'll be, I'll be honest bro uh, the, the problem with that is i'm 110 percent down no one really donates, man. I mean, I set up a, a donation page for the homeless brother. I had about three people in it. You know what I mean? About 40 quid. So it's like, I'll, I'd rather just send you 50 pounds or 100 pounds or something. Do you know what I mean? Well, listen, listen, let me tell you something. First of all, Syria, Bilad Hashem, is different, bro. Do you understand? Yeah, it yeah. Has, when people see it, you know what I mean? It has a pull it on has a connection. It has a connection to, you know, uh, it has a it has a place in every Muslim's heart, bro. So mm. I know, for example, you definitely know fifty people, but it's just because maybe you're not asking in the right way. You have got to understand, it's not about just gripping them. It's, it's, grip it's, not, it's not just about gripping it. It's not just about gripping them in it. It's about, for example, now if you're just sending a link out, people are not yeah. going to feel connected, to you, bro. So no, now, I for understand. example, for example, when I talk about something that's close to me, then you know what people are going to be like, right? He's affected by it. Same as you. And if you come on and you say, look, I saw one of uh, the live updates from Syria videos. I encourage you all guys to watch it. And you know what? This, this, this happened. The sister was picking like, today I'm going to put a reel up. A sister, basically, a sister picking up rubbish. And she's like digging through the rubbish and she's looking for plastic. Yeah. It's a really strong image. You could talk about that. You could talk about anything that you've heard and say, look, this cause is really close to me. I'm saying if you phone 10 people and you spend five minutes talking to those people rather than just sending out a text i guarantee you each person will donate i know i know i, I totally i totally agree but I, but it's about how much time you know I mean? it's about how much time yeah. you want to put into it do you understand it's yeah, about yeah, how much yeah. effort you want to put in do you really want that that ajr and sometimes you'd be surprised bro if you do something for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will send help from places you can't imagine like i said to you bro even if someone donates 10 pound what did you lose mm. Nothing. You didn't lose yeah. anything, did you? Why? Yeah. You gla you gained the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the effort that you put in. So now, if you've done it and you say, nobody donated, then alhamdulillah, you still get the reward. That's the beauty mm. of Islam. The beauty mm, of Islam yeah, yeah. Is, you get, is that... For you, for, just for the intention, you get a reward, don't you? Yeah. And a, and a second yeah. reward. 
yeah. if it's fulfilled. If you do a good deed, if you do a good deed, or you got intention for a good deed, even if you don't do it, you get the reward. Get one but if you've got an intention for doing a sin, you got intention for doing a sin and you don't do it, Allah doesn't give you the sin for it, bro. Mm -hmm. you know, so how merciful is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Yes, so that's my advice. Up to you. If you want to donate, donate. If you want to do a page, then ahl wa sahlan, do a page, be brave, be adventurous. Inshallah. Well, you know, I've got, I've got a separate question, right? Um, I can keep talking right. forever, man. Um, and I've, I was I did want to be very careful obviously the first time I've spoken to you. I do ask somewhat um I don't always have the you know, I just ask what I want and sometimes it doesn't go come across the right way as a problem. <laughs> do you know what I mean? But you know this scandal that happened, you can see where I'm going here. But you know with these uh and this and that. Yeah, yeah. You know about it, innit? But you know like they they look like the freaking ideal people, everything they were doing it, all the social media it, it was just a front and it looked so real. So how can you trust someone out there is, is my question. Do you know what I mean? I'm not doubting you, but did you see the position that we're well, kind I, of in, in this sense? Oh, well, I, it's a fair question. It's a fair question. Look, it's one of those things, yeah, where my advice to anyone and what I say to people is the best charity that you can give is if you get up yourself and you physically go and give it. Yeah. That's the best charity. Better than giving it to me. Yeah. Better than giving it to anyone. If you get up yourself, and you physically go and do it. And the reason why I'm telling you that is because inshallah, if you do go and do it, I'm hoping that I'm going to steal some of that reward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for you to end up and doing it. So again, I would say if you look at certain people's lifestyles, if you look at certain people's goals in their life, then you can try and gauge it on that. At the end of the day, you don't ever know what's in the hearts of people, bro. But what did I say to you in the beginning? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to give you reward or sin based on your intention. So if you gave that money solely for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you're going to get your reward. Every person that gave it, even if, you know, they uh, were cheated. Do you understand? Yeah. yeah. So but you have to do a certain things, level of verification though as well, isn't it? I've got yeah, no idea how to even go about that really. Bro, bro, you take your asbab, you take your asbab, you do your, your, your checks, you ask people. I mean, in Islam, for example, you have tazkiyah. So Tezkiya is where you, you ask other people, okay, do you know this brother? What is this person like? You know, what is their background, et cetera, et cetera. Does this person, you know, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then obviously you've got the kind of, uh, if you want to call it the legal side of things, where, for example, if you're working with a registered charity, like with his wife, people were just giving their money into their own bank account or into a just, uh, mm. into a GoFundMe. Do you understand? So you're yeah, asking yeah. for trouble, isn't it? You're asking for trouble. Whereas... Yeah. You're dealing with a charity that's a registered charity organization. Scandals can still happen, but you well, know you've okay, done your bit. Yeah, these people are regulated by charity commission. For example, our charity is registered in Turkey. We have to show again to the Turkish charity commission where the money is spent. You know, so for example, someone messaged me today and they were like, "Look, we want to give zakat, but my sheikh said that zakat has to be cash. And are you guys giving out cash in in Syria?" I said, "Look, all right." I said, the reality is, bro, that, yeah, of course, we would prefer to give cash to everybody so they can spend it wherever they want and do whatever they want with it. But the reality is that, I mean, we do give out some cash, but only a percentage. We can't give out all the money in cash. Yeah, it's not, it's not sustainable. It's not, yeah. It's not that it's not sustainable. We get accused of funding terrorism. We can't prove where's the money gone. Where did you spend the money? You're going to you say, know. I gave it to but when now you've brought money in and you've built a school and you've got projects and you've got masjids and you've got orphan sponsorships and you've got this kind of stuff, do you understand? There's a process. Mm, so that's why, process, again, yeah. like, like I said, for us, we're very feedback intensive. When someone, for example, now sends us donations, especially with our fundraisers, they get feedback. So they'll get feedback of orphan thanking them. They'll get feedback. They'll see the projects that are taking place, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's, that's all we can do in it. I've never heard yeah. that zakat has to be given in cash. Um, yeah, brother, a brother called me about it today. He said a certain sheikh, he said, Sheikh Haytham al-Haddad gave a fatwa about this a couple of days ago. Yeah. And I said yeah. that maybe the sheikh doesn't understand our situation. So um, they've gone back to the scholars now. Well, I sent some yeah. voice notes back. So I'm quite certain that they're, gonna, they're not going to keep that ruling because it doesn't make sense. Is That that will be within the sort of selfie sort of uh, thick sort of rulings by the sounds of it. I don't know if the others hold different. I, I I'm just right. Okay. I, I you do. Know, but do you guys accept zakat? Though is the question basically. That last, is it? Yeah, yeah. All, 
all our pro, pro projects are zakat eligible, bro. All our projects are zakat eligible. Yeah. So, um, yeah, man, we accept zakat. Um, but it's yeah, usually I a lot mean, of Muslims they like ends up lining up with Ramadan, doesn't it? Zakat. Like mine sort of due, you know, Ramadan sort of time. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, most people give us their zakat in Ramadan, Alhamdulillah. So, uh, so this, I mean, for most charities, bro, um, especially like us, we, we don't have no like funding from Western organizations or UN or anything like that. We do all of our fundraising in Ramadan and whatever we may uh, raise in Ramadan, we utilize that throughout the whole year to, you know, to sustain the projects and, and help the people and stuff. So, Alhamdulillah. Right, okay. Alhamdulillah, man. Uh, okay, I think... I'll, I've got to go on, man. I'm just, you know, I'm tired. You know, I'm just talking, talking because I'm tired. So No, nah, no problem, okay. bro, man. You've given us so much time. Bro. Honestly, I really appreciate it, man. Jazakallah khair, bro. And, what uh, I'm going to do is, bro, I'm going to edit this up, upload it private, as I said. And I'll, do you want to probably watch the thing first, innit? I take it. It's up to you. It's, it's cool, bro. I ain't said nothing that I'm not, you know, I'm not known for saying, bro. So I'll, as a minimum, give you the opportunity to watch it through. And, you know what I mean? All right, bro. Brilliant. I appreciate yeah. that. To make dua for us as well, my bro, please, man. We're a lost cause. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. All right, no, then, no, take no. care. Zakra, bro. Stop it. What are you